coverage of this story. Right now, Marvin Hurst is on the city's northwest side to talk about an option for mothers of unwanted children. But we begin with Jenny Sunica in downtown San Antonio with more on the mother's arrest. Jenny. Good morning, Matt and Sarah. I've been looking through this arrest warrant, and it's quite obvious this woman did not want her baby. And unfortunately, it looks like she did what she, the unthinkable to get rid of it. Take a look. This is 25 year old Nidia Alvarado being led away in handcuffs shortly after her arrest at an apartment complex in the 1500 block of Jackson Keller Road. Police say other children were in the apartment with her, and they are now in the custody of Child Protective Services since Alvarado is accused of killing her newborn baby. Now, an employee at a San Antonio recycling facility center found the baby, the dead baby, while sorting through trash. Investigators say the infant's body was found inside a duffel bag on a conveyor belt. Now, it took some time, but police say they were able to trace the baby and the duffel bag to Alvarado through a hospital surveillance video. Investigators say during questioning, Alvarado admitted she tried to find someone to teach her to perform a self-abortion, and that didn't pan out. And she delivered the baby. She left the hospital, and that's where the story gets grim. She allegedly strangled the baby and says she watched him die, according to her arrest affidavit. Police say she then dumped the dead baby in the dumpster near some apartments. Alvarado is in the process of being moved to the Bear County Jail. Her bond has been set at two million dollars. Now, what's really sad about this is that this could have been a totally different story had Alvarado taken advantage of the Baby Moses Law, designed specifically for women who do not want their newborn babies. Joining us now to explain that law is Marvin Hurst. Marvin? Good morning to you, Jenny. Yeah, lawmakers have carved this out a long time ago, and mothers or parents who just don't want their child can take advantage of it. The sign says it all. This is a safe baby site. It means that you don't have to throw your child away in the trash. And they are all over the entire state of Texas. It, it's very simple. Here's what you have to do. The child has to be younger than two months old. The child has to be unharmed and safe. Uh, the baby uh, must be dropped off at any hospital, police department, fire station, or EMS station in the entire state of Texas. However, you must give the baby over to an employee and just simply say, hey, I want to leave the baby here. I can't take care of this child. Uh, they will then uh, might ask you some questions about the baby's uh, family history, some medical history, just for the sake of the child. Uh, and according to the state, if you do that, you will eliminate any means of prosecution against yourself. All you have to do back here live is simply drop uh, the child off at one of these safe baby sites. The, the sign is very clear. This one is, is lit up. It's yellow. It has a light on top of it. You can't miss it. It's certainly one of those things that could prevent a child from be thrown, being thrown in a trash and certainly murdered. Reporting live, Marvin Hurst, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.